Petey McLean. McLean against in Gilliard with 10 on the shot clock. KGG trying to back his way down against Monaco. Forces up a shot off the glass, up and good. Nice job by Kennard, Gaxton, Gilliard. And he'll make a pass to Merriweather in front of everyone, all the way to the hoop. Right hand layup, he kissed it home off the glass. A timeout with the basketball, E.J. Merriweather. Hunter Harris, top key, wants another three. This one's up, and he hit one finally. First made three of the year. He's one for five, but that'll at least make Northern Kentucky come out and guard him. 14.55 to go first half. ETSU seven, Northern Kentucky six. Rembert into the front court, left side. A.J. Merriweather wants a three. A.J. Mary hits the three. Harris, now Lester Wilson catches on a block. Right hand finish, good. A block, score the bucket and one. So Lester Wilson sealed his man. Nice job working when they reversed it. It allowed Lester Wilson to keep an arm bar on him for an offensive Look on the block, up by two, 13 to 11. Lob pass inside to Lester Wilson. He'll catch, right hand layup using the glass, good. Lester Wilson with five points. Gadsden Gilliard to go to Rashawn Rembert. Open three, right side. This time it goes down for Rembert. Hard head the key over to A.J. Merriweather. Devin Harris wants to shoot the three. It's up and it's good. Devin Harris with a tray. Shot fake over to Devin Harris to A.J. Merriweather. He wants to shoot the three and he'll nail it. A.J. Merriweather with eight. Riley with five, now four, three seconds to go and a half. Riley, pump fake, throws it down low, got it to A.J. Merriweather, they're gonna score the bucket, and that will end the half. ETSU 30, Northern Kentucky 28, they'll go to the monitor, but comes Rembert. Rembert all the way to the hoop, a little under scoop layup, good. Three on one, can the Bucks score this one? Rembert all the way to the hoop, right hand layup, he's fouled by White and one. Harris running a three on one, all the way to the hoop, finger roll layup, good, Hunter Harris. Yard. He'll try to turn face, shot fake, got his man in the air, now trying to back him down, that's Camps, they try to double team him. Here comes Jackson over, Kennard just forces his way in and banks it home on the right side. He'll have it outside the arc, bounce pass to Hunter Harris, trying to force his way, middle of the paint, elevates up, shot up, is good. Rembert, Riley, and KGG trails, catch a shot for three, book it. Kennard gets Tim Gilliard with a trick. On Rembrandt, KGG head of the key, lob pass to Harris. He'll catch a shot fake, got his man in the air, lays it up and in, good. He's got 12. Devin Harris breaks the press, gets it to Gaston Gilliard, heads down the lane to Hunter Harris and a big two-handed dunk. Gets Tim Gilliard with a bounce pass and Hunter Harris dunks it home from the left side. Hunter Harris will come out. Banks in and gets a nice ovation for the effort he had today. And I thought that was one of the keys of the game, getting the inside game going. Second attempt, Rembert, no good. The quadruple team got it to Banks. Banks is fouled, and he will shoot two free throws. Gaston Gilliard with 10 seconds. We'll get it to Halverson. And the Bucks will hold and try to walk it out as they will be victorious by a final of 74 to 65. General Shell post game show after this on the Buccaneers Sports Network. Yeah, we um, at halftime, we wanted to push the ball in, on a miss, um, and get it out in transition and get easy buckets. So that was the plan because they, they couldn't run with us. We knew they couldn't run with us coming in. Oh, yeah, we had a bad taste in our mouth. Yeah, we had a sense of urgency. We had a players only meeting, figured out what we need to do and came out and got it done tonight. We, we really felt like we let Mercer beat us twice. You know, they beat us, and then I don't think we got over it and wasn't as, as prepared for Lipsum as we should have been, and, and then they got us. So, like uh, H said, you know, we met as a team, got a lot of things accomplished, a lot of things off our chest, and just, you know, tried to come out and play hard on the defensive end and then also share the ball on the offensive end. I mean, I think we had 18 assists tonight, and that's something that we have to get back to doing because we, are, we got a lot of guys who can score, and we got to make it easier for them to get, uh, get shots, you know, moving the ball. And, getting everybody involved. We were unable to make some uh, very makeable shots uh, after taking the lead and being right there with them. I think we missed three dunks and probably four or five layups and then turned her over and um, they capitalized and, and they pulled away and to their kids' credit, you know, they got the transition off of them, they made some shots and that was the ball game. It was a good win, good win. Any win is a good win and that gives us our ninth win and Northern Kentucky was hot coming in and really a well-coached team. They don't make many mistakes. They're hard to turn over. Fortunately, we played a really good second half. First half was, you know, decent, but second half we really turned it up, scored more in transition. Rashawn was big for us. Hunter was big for us. A.J. was big for us. Um, 
I, you know, I thought Kennard was really smart. Kennard's a facilitator. You know, he doesn't have to score a lot to make a, make a lot happen because he's a great passer. I thought Devin Harris came in. And get, came in. Obviously, our rotation was a little different, but I thought Devin made the most of his minutes. So it was a good win. Good win.